I am the victim, the only victim here. I have a scar on my neck that I will have to explain for the rest of my life. One I'll have to look at in the mirror every day. I have an emotional scar that I'll have to deal with and it will be a constant battle. I'll have to fight now, within today, myself. This is the first time we've heard from the victim. Teresa Spagnat looks back on that February 2017 night. She says Christopher Wheeler walked into her dorm room, asked for someone she did not know, then slashed her throat and left. Wheeler and his attorney has tried to argue that he was under the influence that night and that he was hazed as a pledge in Phi Kappa Psi fraternity. Today, the judge told the now 20-year-old he had to take responsibility for the fact that he smoked pot and drank before coming to Creighton. The judge sentenced him to 30 days in jail and five years of probation before deputies took Wheeler away in handcuffs. I cannot understand the fear and pain I have caused you and I would give anything to take back that night. I am so sorry to you and your family, and I will do everything I can to make it right. I also spoke with Phi Kappa Psi's former advisor who investigated the incident. He tells me this whole thing is a travesty and stresses the fraternity had nothing to do with Wheeler's actions. Live inside the Douglas County Courthouse tonight, Chindone, KETV, Newswatch 7.